Z93 Morning Buzz with Brittany and Balzer this morning. We are joined by Ben Gullett, who is a home cook and food enthusiast. Good morning, Ben. Good morning. Thank see, look, see, did you see that? So Jared comes in here, he starts taking a picture. Hi, I'm doing well. How are you guys? <laughs> so you got somebody else with you there today. Uh, he's my personal photographer. Oh, nice. Um, you know, wow. after being on your show, guys, for like, you know, two or three times now, um, I'm just really branching out in my Got fame. Yeah. Um, and so I'm just trying to get as many pictures of me as I can. Yeah, uh, that's important. A lot of it, pressure. Honestly, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's more pressure for him because, uh, you know, he works for these snacks. Uh, Jaren! <laughs> <laughs> that totally looks like a fake arm coming into the screen. I'm absolutely loving it. Once Jared can get it together, I mean, can we like do this thing or what? Yeah, yeah, okay. Jared. <laughs> Go away. No, we're we're super happy to have you again. We <laughs> like we have had you on a couple of times because you are so very fun. And we thought with the Super Bowl coming up this weekend, you know, you have some really great recipes that are pretty easy to try and yummy. Absolutely. I'm today I am all about sweets. So I'm not going to demo this one for you today, but because it's almost too simple. Uh, all it is is taking uh, chocolate chip thin sters, which are these really great, crunchy, thin cookies. Um, but all I did is I laid out a piece of uh, like a sheet pan, covered it with a sheet of uh, parchment paper, crushed these thin sters cookies uh, with an inch of their life. And then uh, using a double broiler or double boiler, or in my, in my case last night, also a microwave. Um, just melted down some, you know, semi-sweet chocolate. That's, that's the kind of chocolate you want for baking. You don't want like a, a cookie or a candy bar or anything like that. You're going to stick it in the microwave or, or a double boiler if you're fancy. That's fine too. 30 okay. seconds and just keep stirring it every 30 seconds. Uh, Cause you want to keep a good close eye on it. Even if it was a double boiler, you got to keep stirring, keep a close eye. What you do is you're going to take that, that melted chocolate, pour it over that sheet pan of crumbled up Fenster's cookies uh, and then stick it in the refrigerator. Let it just kind of cool down. And then uh, about an hour, half hour later, you're able to break it up into these nice like little chocolate barks. That sounds good. All right, you ready for the next one though? I got one more for you. Love yes. it. All right, we're gonna make puppy chow with Southern recipe small batch pork rinds. So mm -hmm. today, I, I know, I know, I know it's, I, I know it's strange. Even last night I'm going, what are we doing? I love it. It's actually kind of tasty. Uh, so we're using the sea salt and cracked black pepper pork rinds. Uh, open up the bag, crush them up into little bite-sized pieces in your microwave again you're gonna heat up that chocolate. So, but you're gonna use about, uh, it's about four ounces of chocolate, uh, a cup of peanut butter, six tablespoons of butter, and you're just gonna melt that. You could do it over the double boiler. You could do it in the microwave. The, that same thing, that 30 second interval. What's important is that you just get it to a nice consistency. Uh, so you're gonna get that melted down. We are going to then, oh, add some cinnamon. We put a little, uh, vanilla extract, and I just put in a little bit of kosher salt, got that stirred up. We're gonna add our pork rinds all crumbled up into uh, these nice little pieces. And you're really just trying to stir this until it's completely uh, coated in chocolate. You want all those pork rind pieces to be covered. Once you've got that nice and coated, uh, you're gonna take a bowl. Now this is, uh, this is like a, a not really sugar sugar. So if you're trying to be keto, you know, we, the chocolate chips that we used are actually no sugar added. Um, the peanut butter, it's gonna be a little bit light, but peanut butter is really good for keto and then this non-sugar sugar. So you could do it that way, or, you know, if you're just really going for deliciousness and you just want the pork rinds, go sugar all the way, baby. So just like you got all the pork rinds covered in chocolate, we want all of the chocolate covered pork rinds covered in this uh, non-sugar sugar. Once that's good, you're gonna take another sheet pan Still with parchment paper, you're gonna lay this thing out, spread it nice and evenly. Uh, let it come to room temperature since the chocolate and the peanut butter, that mixture is still a little warm. Room temperature. And then once it's that way, you could break up all the pieces just like you do with the chocolate bark. But now you've got your puppy chow uh, and little small bite-sized pieces, you know, pork rinds covered in chocolate and peanut butter. And butter, I can't think of anything that is wrong with this, no matter what diet you're on. I mean, sure it may not fit into your diet, <laughs> What's really important to me is that my, my, my wife doesn't really watch the things that I do like this. So I can say things that I'm not going to get in trouble for later, but you know, she's been working out. She's really, you know, on a, on a good trend. She's trying not to eat so many sweets. 
that's really making me feel bad about myself because I'm just a big fat hairy guy and uh and I can't keep up so these are really good to make if you want to slow your wife's progress down <laughs> yeah that's I mean that's wow. just true wow yeah I'm full well, of great it, advice I feel like if you were a good husband you would eat them alone in a closet somewhere as to not tempt her but still get that enjoyment for yourself right Yes, but it's Valentine's Day. You're trying to do things together. Every other day of the week, I'm definitely in the closet eating these things. Sometimes I haven't even mixed them together. I'm just putting everything into a bowl, not heated up. Yeah, exactly. And just sort of scooping out. I, I look like a mess. And she asks me what you've been doing. And I say, please don't ask me any more personal questions. Because <laughs> you'll be tempted. Yeah, thank you. See, I haven't gotten that far. Because, sweetheart, you'll be tempted and you'll want these things as well. And I want the best for you, except on Valentine's Day, so I feel better about myself. Your Perfect. honesty is just some something that we should all strive for, I think. It's See, exactly. Honesty is important as long as your wife isn't paying attention. That's, <laughs> that is where honesty comes in, just clutch for you.